Subaru just surprised us with additional photographs of its forthcoming all-electric SUV, the 2023 Solterra, which it describes as the most technologically sophisticated Subaru ever. The Solterra is a Toyota shared investment comparable to the Toyota GT86, formerly the Toyota 86, Scion, FRS, and Subaru BRZ. Toyota's version is now known as the BZ4X. So what are the differences between the Subaru Solterra and Toyota's BZ4X? Stay tuned because we will be talking about them both. But before tuning in, we'd love it if you'd click the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, and like the video to see more videos and updates like this one. Toyota and Subaru will work together to develop their first mass-market EVs. We've already seen Toyota's future BZ4X. Still, it's almost time for Subaru to reveal their version of the electric SUV, which will be known as the Solterra. The Japanese car maker released the first teaser photographs of the electric vehicle. However, the shadows do an excellent job of concealing Solterra's features. Subaru, on the other hand, did not really reveal anything new. The Solterra will be created on the eSubaru global platform, resulting from a collaboration between Subaru and Toyota. Toyota simply refers to its version as the eTNGA platform. Subaru concentrated on its all-wheel drive technology and other engineering capabilities, while Toyota offered proficiency in electrification. We don't yet know the powertrain specifications or what classification of range to foresee, Toyota did not provide any stats revelation of the BZ4X last month, so we'll have to wait and see what the two supercars could do with these electric SUVs. Let's take a look at these car specs for us to know the difference between them, and check out our video on the Subaru Solterra 4x4 to know more in depth about the Subaru itself. Design and Features Subaru says it came up with the term Solterra by combining the words Sol and Terra, which represent Sun and Earth in Latin. The C segment has been the most common class globally, providing automakers with a large scale and reasonable margin. That's why Skoda Volkswagen and Nissan prioritize electric vehicles in the C segment, as evidenced by the VW ID.4, ID.3, Nissan Area, Leaf, and Skoda's Enyaq. Subaru intends to debut a C-segment BEV initially, which will be an SUV top hat in keeping with industry trends. The Subaru Solterra appears to be more similar to the Toyota BZ4X than previously imagined. Subaru's rendering and teasers show the Subaru EV with an identical outline. It has a distinctive headlamp design in a very similar form, implying that any sheet metal alterations would be minimal. Teasers confirm that the headlight design will be equivalent. The teaser reveals that the charging port will be on the left front fender, just like the Toyota EV. While the rear part of both automobiles would be the same, the bumper and combo lighting may be different. It also lacks a continuous light strip linking the tail lamps. Below the Subaru, lettering is a symmetrical AWD badge. The interior will be similar to that of the Toyota BZ4X in the United States. On top of that, it has an entirely digital instrument cluster and a large touchscreen entertainment system to keep you entertained on the road. The US spec Solterra has four LED projector headlamps, a squarish charging flap on the left front fender, and five double spoke wheels with black over fenders that connect to the headlamps and two rear spoilers. It also has rear large combo lamps that extend to the SUV's shoulders. The steering wheel on the Subaru is spherical, while the Toyota has a Batman-style wheel with a chopped-off top, its wheel is similar to the yoke on the revised Tesla Model S expected in Australia late in 2022. Subaru also revealed the Solterra's rump, which has the AWD emblem, implying a dual-motor system. Subaru's final teaser image shows a car with a panoramic glass sunroof battling some modest dirt tracks. The BZ4X's dashboard will be more futuristic than current Toyota vehicles, featuring a digital gauge display, a huge touchscreen, and a spacious center console between the two front seats. The cabin appears to be pretty big and comparable in size to a RAV4. Still, we can't be sure how comfortable it is yet until we get an opportunity to test drive it. 
We also know that the BZ4X will brake with convention by using a yoke-style steering wheel rather than a spherical one. It is comparable to the Tesla Model S's new primary steering controller. Specifications The platform is composed of several fundamental components. The propulsion system is housed beneath the hood, and the battery pack is buried beneath the vehicle's foundation. However, it does allude to a flat bottom, which should allow for a more lounge-like interior. Toyota installed a 41.8 kWh lithium-ion battery in the third generation RAV4 in 2010. Battery technology has advanced significantly in the previous decade, with large improvements in energy density and cost. Furthermore, the BZ4X, a new generation RAV4 class EV, is built on the platform designed specifically for electric vehicles. Toyota should be able to employ a battery with a substantially larger energy content in the BZ4X. It has a 60 kilowatt hour unit with 400 to 450 kilometers of range in local WLTC mode. Subaru will very certainly include the same battery in the Solterra. The Solterra will most likely receive the same batteries and motors as the Z4X. Toyota has stated that it focuses on durability of the batteries, so the Solterra should also benefit from these efforts. Toyota intends to ensure that the BZ4X retains 90% of its original range throughout 10 years of usage. Masahiko Maeda, Toyota's chief technology officer, declared that this is one of the world's highest endurance performance targets. In the US, the range of both new electric SUVs, as of EPA estimates, might be between 250 and 300 miles. However, based on Solterra photographs, it's very important to evaluate the differences and similarities between the two vehicles. The photos go to great lengths to connect the car with its ecologically concerned terms, the sun and the earth. The Toyota BZ4X, on the other hand, represents a more aggressive concept. While the BZ4X will be built, including a 64 kilowatt per hour battery system that will deliver around 230 kilometer range on a single charge around the front wheel model configuration. Suppose you choose the more robust all-wheel drive dual motor version. In that case, the total range will be reduced to approximately 200 miles on a single charge. Toyota does estimate that solar panels installed on the BZ4X will generate enough energy to provide an adequate driving range to travel around 1,000 miles per year. A front-wheel drive, single electric engine configuration with 201 horsepower will also be standard. Nonetheless, an all-wheel drive variant with two motors is available, increasing the total output to 215 horsepower. The BZ4X isn't quite in Tesla territory yet. Still, it does put it in direct rivalry with the Volkswagen ID.4 front-wheel drive configuration. As soon as they have the opportunity to take the BZ4X for a spin, they're going to post an update to this story with some observations and test findings. The rear indicators differ in the two lines of the BZ4X, where they connect at an angle on the boot, while the front indicators do not. The Solterra, on the other hand, has a softer square form that joins on the vehicle's side. This softer imagery is repeated in the wheel covers, which retain the same five-prong design, but are bigger and rounder on the Solterra. Overall, there are numerous similarities between the Solterra and the BZ4X, which is a great thing. Upon folding down the big touchscreen, it comes into contact with the secondary touchscreen and a central control knob at the console's base. Unlike the BZ4X, which has a yoke-style steering wheel, the Solterra, again, has a spherical steering wheel, which is much more recognized. The collaboration between the two companies was conceived with the goal of capitalizing on their respective strengths. In Toyota's case, it's vehicle electrification expertise, which is mainly focused on hybrid vehicles, and Subaru's all-wheel drive expertise. It has to be seen how much they've succeeded in this endeavor. Specific technical specifications have not yet been released. Some features, including a freestyle class cabin, thanks to the electric powertrain, have been teased, but none confirmed. It goes without saying that numerous motors are employed to provide the all-wheel drive capacity. So guys, what do you think about these two supercars? Would you wish to have one? Let us know your thoughts and comment down below. And before the video ends, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, share the content, and tap the notification bell for more updates like this one. Thank you so much.